Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Special interests and Washington insiders. Marco Rubio stands by Trump. Pay to play politics. She ate like a pig. They're everywhere. Political ads flooding airwaves. And the Wesleyan Media Project from Wesleyan University in Connecticut says Orlando and Tampa are leading the way, both with more than 21,000 presidential political ads run since June. It's Americans first. Many have the same formula create a good guy and a bad guy and they can get ugly. Florida Senate race between Marco Rubio and Patrick Murphy is the fifth least positive in the country. The scary villain in this particular uh, ad is Patrick Murphy. Political strategist and ad guru Kevin Kate broke down some of the spots for us. You've got the black and white, the gloom and doom music, and then you've got the hallelujah chorus on whatever candidate's supporting. So let's try one on me. Cue the ominous music. Put me in black and white. Can we really trust Matt Gelka? Yeesh. Okay, make me the good guy now. Hi, I'm Matt Gelka, and here's what's going on at the Capitol. Matt Gelka, Florida's most trusted reporter. So it's much easier for me to get you to not trust someone than it is for you to get someone to trust you. All told nationwide, political advertisements have aired more than 3 million times, with more than $2.4 billion spent just to try and win your vote. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.